Yes, it's me, Miss Natera. It's not Preston in a Miss Natera costume, although I don't think he would fit. So you're probably wondering what I'm doing here. Well, this is the one broadcast of the year where every member of the Claw News team got to create their own original independent segment. So you're going to see everyone who is in the class on camera doing something completely different. We're not going to have staff spotlight. We're not going to have a sports recap. None of the stuff that you usually see. But I promise you will be entertained. I'm a little nervous, but I'm excited, so let's get this started. One thing really quickly I want to mention, the yearbook staff this year has worked really hard on the yearbook, and the yearbook cover um, is going to have a specific theme. So we're going to have a little contest to see if you can guess what the theme of the cover is, the title of the cover, basically. So throughout today's broadcast, you're going to see little hints pop up on the screen, Make note of those hints, and then at the end of the broadcast, we're asking that teachers forward to you a link to a Google form where you can submit your best guess. Now, the winner of this contest, or winners, are going to get the opportunity to cover Principal Again in Silly String. We're going to film the whole thing, and we're going to show it in the final broadcast of the year. So that is definitely something you do not want to miss out on. I'm really excited for it. All right, so without further ado, let's get this broadcast started. Hey Panthers, it's Natalia Hernandez here. So I've been thinking, you're probably wondering how broadcast really is and that we're super professionals and don't have lots of fun. Well, guess what? You're wrong. We have tons of fun in this class. Don't believe me? Let me explain. This class isn't just focused on making things perfect. We also have our good laughs. We get to have fun making these segments and believe me, there are way more bloopers than we actually put on the broadcast. We have a lot of fun during this period because we also get to work with partners and have fun recording ourselves. Why do I feel like you guys still don't believe me? Well, that won't convince you. Let me show you how much fun we have behind the camera. Every day, we have to film announcements. We might look like professionals, but in reality, we have a lot of fun when we mess up on our words by accident. Finally, we'd like to wish a... Bish, uh, bish, okay. Oh my god, no, I haven't messed up this hard. Okay, okay fine, I can put this in behind the scenes. Sometimes, the people we film also mess up, which is really funny. Hi, this is Rocky again, Eyewitness News. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Do you see what I mean now? We have tons of fun and work hard at the same time. I hope that you guys had a good laugh while watching our broadcast members have fun. Well, that's all we got for today, Panthers. See you next time. I'm Natalia Hernandez. Hey, Panthers. Although the beginning of 2021 was a little rough, it brought us many new animes to binge watch at home. Some top shows begin their second, third, or even fourth season. And we've also been introduced to many great animes that have just begun their story this year. For instance, the fourth and the final season of Attack on Titan caused the whole fandom to shed tears. And the newly introduced Skate the Infinity has done their part in encouraging viewers to gain interest in skateboarding. Jutsu Kaisen also aired the final episode of their first season on March 27th. Although it brought great sadness that the first season is over, the fandom is happily anticipating the day that they will be able to see their Goja Sensei again. The long-awaited Demon Slayer movie Mugen Train is set to come in theaters on April 23rd, 2021. And last but certainly not least, the third season of Fruits Basket has started airing on April 12th, 2021. There are many more animes that I was not able to cover in this short segment. If you haven't watched anime before in your life, I hope I was able to spark your interest in watching one. Although it looks like we will ever be getting a second season of Oran High School Host Club, I think that these new shows that are introduced would be able to make up for it. Thank you for watching, and remember to go beyond plus ultra. This is Jimin On. Hey 
Hey Panthers, it's Kyler Robison here. I have a question for the eighth graders. Are you preparing to drive yet? I know I am. I hope you are because it's only a few years away. Learning to drive is such a memorable experience. So, let's go learn some more information about driving schools. There are many ways to help yourself prepare for driving. The Driving School of North Texas, DFW Driving School, Prosper Driving School, and Drive Smart Driving School are only a few places in our area who offer online and in-person classes for ages 14 and up. Taking lessons improves your chances for a permit and later a license. It's a great opportunity to help you get a gist of driving. Let's go ask some of our PHMS 8th graders how they're preparing for driving. My name is Mrs. Baldwin and back when I was first learning how to drive I was super excited because for me that meant freedom to be able to go different places and not have my parents have to take me. My tip for you young children as you learn how to drive, please make sure you're safe. Okay so my favorite part about driving is the thrill of it and feeling more mature. And a tip I would say is don't use both legs, only use one leg when you're doing the brake and the acceleration because if you press both, I don't think that's good. I am happy that some of eighth graders are more than ready to start driving and that some are even starting to take classes. I hope that they can cherish the moment when they get their license. Well, that's all we have time for today, Panthers. I'm Kylie Robison. Hey Panthers, as the school year comes to an end, I decided to make you guys a cake. But the only problem is that I cannot look at the instructions nor ingredients. But first, let me get an apron on. The only thing I do know is that the temperature and time, because I really don't feel like starting a fire today. Other than that, let's get started. I know I need eggs, so I got some. Now we got our cake mix. Because, you know, it's, it's paint. I don't know how many eggs I need, so I'm gonna guess around three. We need vegetable oil. It's a Christmas pizza hole, I actually have that. Uh, there's one more ingredient. I know there's at least three, but I don't remember if it's milk or water. I'm gonna do milk. And now we get stirring. So we're gonna pour this into the pan now. This was the only pan I had. All right, so now we got the oven right here and the cake right here. So let's go ahead and put this in the oven. Now we wait about 25 minutes. Now since our cake is done and totally not burnt, we can go on to the judging. Please welcome Chef Paige. Hi Panthers, it's Chef Paige Radio here. All right Paige, are you ready to test this amazing not burnt cake? Yes. I'm very dry. Well Paige, how did you feel about the cake? It was great. Well, Panthers, thank you so much for watching this cake special. I really hope you did enjoy. Thank you for watching. I'm Julie O'Hare. And I'm Paige Cordillo. Hey, Panthers, it's me, Gupta, here. Have you ever heard of Harry Potter? In case you haven't, it's a story in which Harry Potter defeats Voldemort, otherwise known as He Who Must Not Be Named. There were seven books written by J.K. Rowling that were turned into movies. The school of magic that he went to, Hogwarts, is separated into different houses. These houses are like your family while you're at Hogwarts. There are four different houses in Hogwarts. Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. Gryffindor's characteristics include courage, chivalry, and determination. Ravenclaw's characteristics include intelligence, learning, wisdom, and wit. Hufflepuff's characteristics include justice, loyalty, and patience. And Slytherin's characteristics include leadership, ambition, cunningness, and resourcefulness. Now, let's see what houses some of our Panthers think that they are in. So when I take a Pottermore quiz, I got Hufflepuff. I've taken other internet quizzes um, and I've gotten Ravenclaw. I'm usually mixed between those two. My house is absolutely Gryffindor. I've only taken a thousand tests and I've never gotten anything else. Gryffindor. Hufflepuff. I'm a Slytherin. Gryffindor. The house of Slytherin. Wow, our Panthers are in a variety of different Hogwarts houses. Good luck to those attending Hogwarts for the first time and watch out for Professor Quirrell. That's it for today, Panthers. I'm Nia Gupta. Hey, Panthers. It's Sue Askin Do you know what March Madness is? March Madness is a college basketball tournament that shows the top 64 teams in the nation battling out. Harold Olsen, a coach, came up with the concept to create brackets to predict the winners. If you get a perfect bracket, you can win huge, huge prizes. I was super excited to make my bracket, but this year I had a lot of confidence. But now looking back at it, it was a bit iffy. 
I had Texas going to the Sweet 16, and I also had Ohio State going to the Elite Eight. So basically, I lost full hope on the first day. Oh, I forgot to mention Oral Roberts. They beat the second seed Ohio State and the seventh seed Florida. But then magic stopped when Arkansas beat them. Next thing is UCLA. How can 11 seed make it all the way to the final four? UCLA really defied the odds. The final four was Gonzaga, Houston, Baylor, and also UCLA. UCLA played amazing against Gonzaga, but then this happened. Gonzaga has time to do something. Sucks for the win. Oh, oh yes! Oh. On the other side, Baylor got the lead early and they held it well. The championship game was Gonzaga versus Baylor. Baylor again started off strong and held the lead very well. After the first half, the game was practically over and Baylor were crowned champions. I am pretty confident no one had a perfect bracket. Till next time, I'm your host, Sue Tour. Hey eighth graders, high school is just a few months away and I know a lot of you are excited. What are you looking forward to the most? High school has so many cool upgrades from middle school. For me, personally, I can't wait to choose from the huge variety of classes. Let's go ask our eighth graders how they feel about going to high school. Well, what I'm really excited for in high school is all the new electives and sports and just about a lot of things because like the experience is going to be something else. Teachers are going to be great. And just like teachers here, they're both great. For high school, I'm excited to meet new people and to not see the same people every day. I'm also excited to meet new people. I'm most excited about high school is the new electives and how everything's going to be more advanced. I'm most excited to meet more friends and new people. And I'm also excited to have a more variety of classes to choose from. I'm in high school, I'm most excited to meet new people. High school, I'm most excited about new classes. Uh, I'm excited for sports and a shorter schedule. Uh, for high school, I'm most excited for my new classes, my new electives for next year. Uh, I'm excited for electives. High school is such a memorable rite of passage, and I, for one, am excited. Thanks for watching. I'm Ava Walk. Be more productive. Get active. Try new things. Is this you? Enjoying your normal, daily life when suddenly your conscience tries to make you a better person? I would sit in the same spot all day, isolating myself from the world. My life felt meaningless until my doctor recommended that I try go outside. At first, I didn't believe them. It would require me to walk and be exposed to sunlight, things I've never tried before. My child would never go outside. Ever since he got his own phone when he was nine months old, he hasn't made eye contact with me. For 16 years, I would have to text him everything because he wouldn't talk to me. Until I tried go outside. Now. We are a family again. Ask your doctor if going outside is right for you. Side effects include a more healthy lifestyle, an active social life, and an unconditional feeling of superiority towards those who don't go outside. Go outside. It's good for you. Hey everyone, it's Dan Scurbano here. So I'm gonna talk about some of those old space movies. Some of you guys might have heard of them. They're called Star Wars. And I know you guys probably missed me, but I only got a minute and 30 seconds, so I gotta be quick with this one. So recently I watched the Star Wars movies for the first time and I watched them chronologically, which just means watching them with the first movie and so on. And basically what I'm getting at is watching them chronologically is better. Let me explain. When watching the movie starting with the fourth one, it's a little hard to understand. Like, who's the guy in the armor suit? Who's Luke and Leia? I guess some of you guys have grown up with the original three, but those who haven't, start watching them with episode one. It's so much easier to understand how they develop Anakin. I guess the one downside is that whatever you watch the middle three, it's you can just see how the quality is so much worse because they were made so many years before.
But before I go, I'm gonna give my opinions on the movie. So episode one, I thought was boring. Like it was just lame, like nothing really happened. Episode two, again, was kind of boring. Episode three was probably one of the better ones. I liked that movie a lot. Uh, the fourth one, solid movie, it's pretty good. The fifth one, probably debatably the best one. And the sixth movie was one of my favorites. I like that movie a lot. And then the sequels are just meh. Like, they, they weren't good. I only liked the part where Finn was in. And, like, look at this nerd. Like, he already died. Why does he need to come back? Well, anyways, I hope you guys learned something relevant. Till next time, I'm Daniel Scribano. Nowadays, words are created by the youth every day. If you are older and feel like words that you're hearing aren't even English, I may be able to help. Hi, my name's Dylan Gould. I'm a professional slang translator. I book private lessons, but today I'm gonna give you a sneak peek on some commonly used slang words. Angry is a word that describes being angry, but it's really just because you're hungry. Ugh, I'm so mad. I'm gonna flip this table. I'm gonna not do my homework today. Ugh. Oh, calm down, man. We all know you're not you when you, you're hungry. Here, have a Snickers. A Snickers? Better. Better. Next we will see an example of bussin and sheesh. Bussin is a way to describe something as extremely good, and sheesh is an exclamatory reaction. Hey, yo, Aiden, how are the Jolly Ranchers? It's pretty bussin, respectfully. Mm, what you say? Mm, that you only meant well. Remember these, and you too can navigate the language that is teen slang. Well, in any case, that's all I have for today. I'm Dylan Gould. Hello, is anyone there? Is anyone there? Oh, thank god you're here. Someone stole my spot as Anchorman. I don't know who or what, but it's this mysterious creature. I, I think it's called Miss Natera. <laughs> it's her. I stole your spot as Anchorman, so what? have fun! Oh, great. Well, now I'm stuck here. Well, let's just get this over with already. This is what really happens after you stay up late the day before the star test. When you stay up late, you get tired and crash asleep. When you crash, you get up late. I'm late to school! When you get up late, you realize you're late and start to rush. When you start rushing, you make it out and start running. When you start running, you slowly get tired. When you get tired, you illogically turn into a cheetah and start sprinting. When you start sprinting, you forget that cheetahs are fast but have terrible endurance and get super tired. When you get super tired, you call over an Uber and head to the school. When you tell the driver you need to get to Pioneer, you realize you're just roaring at him because you're still a cheetah and the driver kicks you out. When the driver kicks you out, you walk to school. When you finally get to school, your teacher gives you a zero because you are four hours late to school. Don't turn into a failing cheetah that got unreasonably banned from Uber. Don't stay up late the day before the star test. <sighs> I'll get you back, narrator. Oh, anyways, that was pretty funny. 
but I have to say goodbye. So remember, we are stronger together. Panther Nation, Panther Pride. Hey Panthers, it's Sean Zamed here. Recently, there's been a concerning spike of ongoing hate in the Asian community. This has resulted in the hashtag Stop Asian Hate initiative, which was first started by Congresswoman Grace May and California Assembly Member Evan Lowe. Over the past few months, there have been multiple cases of racist hate crimes against Asian Americans. Most of these crimes were coronavirus motivated. You might have heard about some of the individuals affected by the crimes like Vilma Kari, a 65-year-old Asian woman attacked by a 35-year-old homeless man while making anti-Asian statements. According to the Stop AAPI Hate, from March to December 2020, 126 incidents were reported against Asian Americans over the age of 60. Simu Liu, a Canadian actor best known for his role in the sitcom Kim's Convenience, said for our allies, it's important to hear our words and not compare our struggles against those of other minority groups. We need everyone, not just Asian Americans, to recognize the severity of the issue and to take active steps in preventing it from happening anymore. This was the reason why Friday, March 26th, was the Day of Action social media campaign. Many companies like Nike and YouTube have also shown their support by posting kind messages on Twitter and made a page just to raise awareness for the saddening events. Stop Asian Hate rallies have been held nationwide in Los Angeles, Atlanta, Houston, and many other cities. If you would like to support the movement, you can still contribute by reposting Stop Asian Hate related posts or using the hashtag Stop Asian Hate. Even sharing the news to your family helps. Let's put a stop to the hate. See you next time, Panthers. I'm Shanze Ahmed. Hello, Panthers. It's Katherine Holt here. Have you ever wanted to be more helpful in your community? There are many different volunteer opportunities in Frisco that help our city and people in many different ways. Even though volunteer opportunities have been limited because of the pandemic, there are still numerous ways to volunteer. Lots of the opportunities include the Frisco Family Food Drive where you donate food, specifically cans, to their food drive. Love Packs is also another amazing food drive option. Grace Bridge helps with the cleanup after natural disasters and is also a food drive too. Another food opportunity is Fast Packs that delivers meals to FISD campuses. Feed My Starving Children is an in-person food opportunity where they put together a meal and box them. Frisco Family Services has many different volunteer opportunities on their website if you want to look for more. Let's go talk with our Panthers who have some experience with volunteering. My favorite experience with volunteering is when I did the boxes and I got to help people who were affected by the storm by giving them food and it was really fun packing them and buying the materials and it really made me feel good to be helping the community. Volunteering sounds like such a fun opportunity and improves your character. So next time you have the chance to volunteer, take it. Knowing that you did a good deed should satisfy yourself and others. That's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching, I'm Katherine Holt. Hello Panthers, I hope you've been enjoying this unusual broadcast. Now I'm sure a lot of you watching have pets. I for one have a dog. This is my dog, Snowy. He's a purebred Maltese who stands tall at a whopping nine inches. Six inches. Snowy's a normal dog. He's caring and loves sitting on everything I own. Snowy, Snowy, Snowy. You know, just like your average dog. When my friends ask me or my family if they should get a dog, the answer is usually a resounding no. Even though I wouldn't recommend it with open arms, it is pretty great to own a dog. Dogs are a lot of work, but it's worth it since they're cuddly, friendly, and energetic. Whenever you come home from school, dogs always give you a warm welcome. It's always so fun to play with a dog, and even just petting them is nice. And when you're sad, they're there for you. After all, we call a dog a man's best friend for a reason. If you're planning on getting a dog, good luck. During this pandemic, a lot of people adopted dogs just to give them up when things started opening up. If you're prepared, really prepared, then sure, get a dog or whatever pet it is you want. Just remember, there's no turning back. That's all for today, Panthers. Thanks for tuning in. I'm Anya Sidhu. Hey guys, it's Aiden, and welcome to A Minute with Means, a segment where we get a full minute with Coach Means. 
And today, we're going to be asking him questions about fishing, because fishing is something Coach Means loves to do, for those who don't know. Let's get right into it. Coach Means, take it away. Hello, my name's Coach Means. Welcome uh, with the Minute with Means. And what's the go-to bait? Um, we're about to be in summer, so uh, lipless crankbait um, or a crawl will be good pretty much year-round. Some kind of crawl-looking fish. Um, what's my greatest fishing story? You know, the greatest fishing stories and memories I have are fishing with my dad. Um, he taught me how to fish, and uh, we spent a lot of time fishing together, especially before he passed away. So that was what I remember the most fondly about fishing, it was just fishing with my dad. Uh, tips for fishing. Keep your money and don't give it to Bass Pro Shop, Tackle Warehouse, or um, Academy. So that's my first tip. If you find somebody that has a boat, don't buy a boat. Use their boat and give them some gas money because it costs a lot to run a boat. Yes, I am the baby. Let's go. Special thanks to Coach Means for doing this with us. It was a lot of fun. So yeah, that's all for today. I made him feel y'all. Okay, Panthers, what did you think? I hope you were as entertained as I was. That was very interesting, to say the least. So I really enjoyed getting to have a different kind of broadcast this time, and I hope you did too. So teachers, we're asking for you to go ahead and email the link to that Google form to your Pride Time students. Guys, I'm looking forward to some really great guesses. We will see you next time for the final edition of Claw News for this school year. That's a wrap for today, Panthers. Remember, we are stronger together. Panther Nation, Panther Pride. We have tons of fun in this class. Don't believe me? Let me explain. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Okay. Wait. Hey, eighth graders. <laughs> Hey, eighth graders. High school is just a few months away, and I know a lot of you are excited. High school. What? What is it on the script? I'm going to the side. This is the side. Wait, is it? Yeah, this is the side. Shh. Learning to drive is such a memorable experience. So, let's go. Learning to drive is such a memorable experience. Oh my god! <laughs> hey Panthers, it's Kylie Robinson here. Are you... So recently I watched the movies for the first time and I watched them chronologic... I can't, I'm a mess up... Cr what? Chronologically? Yeah, chronologically. I'm gonna mess up so many times because of that word. Hey, I'm actually gonna record for real. Like, I'm actually gonna use this, so don't I mess me up. If y'all mess me up, I'm actually like, I'm coming for you guys. I'm pulling up, you know. All right. Can you hold it right? Oh, right, thanks, thanks, Dylan. You're the best. You guys are messing me up. I'm camera shy. Wait, what? Did I miss you? you? Wait, you didn't hit record? No, I didn't record. Actually, do you need me to improvise for you? So recently, I saw the movies for the first time, and I rocked. Yes, sir. I look good now. I look like normal, never mind. Which is good. Hey, maybe you should turn on the camera. I did. The camera's on. Oh. Oh, it's been filming? Yeah. There are many different volunteer opportunities. <laughs> oh, you can go. go. No one's coming. I got this. Come on. I got the magic. I got the magic. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> hey hey wait if it is the mic not in our new our new manner the baby the baby i'm the baby finally we'd like to wish a very very happy birthday to him to Hey! We said that! We said that! Okay.
Hey Panthers, it's Shantae and me at team. Oh, Emmett. I can't mess up my own name. Okay, hold on. Hey Panthers, recently there's been a concerning... Oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. Okay. This resulted in the stop eight... Oh my gosh, I forgot the hashtag. Okay. This resulted in the hashtag stop Asian hate initiative, which was started... This was... Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh my god. I'm redoing that. Characteristics include courage, chivalry, and re Now let's see what some of our help. Now let's see what. Do I look? Do I look good? I mean, you're being recorded right now. I know. Yo, I'm like, I'm like cool. I'm cute. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm hot. Not I'm joking. I, I'm just, Should we cut this? <laughs> no, this is this is going in. Now I got this. I got this. No cap. My hair is like being weird though. It's kind of sus. Like... <laughs> it's not funny. Stop laughing. There's that for the segment. I'm Catherine. Wait, what? Who said that? Who said that? That's a ton of things. Okay, okay, I got it. <laughs> Volunteering sounds like such a fun up opportunity. Mm, I cannot speak. Volunteering sounds like such a fun up. Don't, don't, don't. don't. So the next time you have the chance to volunteer, <laughs> hey, uh, 